All right, today is day six. Yesterday, I began working on my proposal to take over the cafe and for the entrepreneur club. I'll be finishing them today and give them to the principal. Last night and this morning was business as usual. Airplane mode, I went to bed early, woke up early, and morning routine. However, today is Saturday, so I decided to lay in bed and just think for an extra hour. Yesterday, I spoke on my plans for now until the end of 2024. Today, I journaled on my strengths when it comes to achieving those goals in China. My number one strength is I know the language. I'm not advanced, but I can hold a decent conversation. The second strength I have, by extension, is my wife is Chinese. This helps because when we opened a consulting firm in Guilin and a bar in Guiyang, she opened them in her name, relieving the stress, extra paperwork, and time it would take if I did it as a non-Chinese. She was able to open a sole proprietorship within a few days, meaning we could get the ball rolling quicker than if I did it as a non-Chinese. My next strength is my ability to adapt to different surroundings and groups of people quickly. This comes from me meeting and interacting with people from different walks of life. I wouldn't call it code switching, but meeting and accepting people where they are, learning something new, and in a way, making it my own in the process. Another strength I have is I have a Chinese license and a car. I know cars can be a liability. My car reminded me of that last month when it decided to kill its transmission, making me replace it. But once I had a client who called me at 8 p.m. saying that he needed me to be at a factory four hours away when it opened, and there were no trains leaving to that destination until the factory opened the next morning. So I can be anywhere. I have no restrictions. My last strength, which can obviously be a weakness, and I'll touch on that tomorrow, is that if I like something and I believe in it, I'm quick to commit. You know, the early bird. And a lot of people can be indecisive. So that's all for my strengths. My children are still asleep upstairs. I will wake them up, get them food, and take them to buy their mother their Christmas gift. And I'm extra excited because today I get to test drive the Neo ETST, and I'll post that experience later. I'll see you tomorrow.